All right, I've printed out part of the manual, um, and there is a performance test, so we should do the performance test. So the very first performance performance test is, is it outputting the frequencies that you say on the front panel? So you take the fourth BNC and run it into a frequency counter, and then uh, you run it through all of the uh, you then uh, run it through all of the frequencies, and uh, they should be pretty darn accurate, plus or minus 0.01 percent. So yeah, uh, let's take a look. Uh, so I have the BNC goes way over here up to my frequency counter. So um, we will program different things. We're at 10 kilohertz now. Uh, that looks pretty accurate. Um, let's see, up 20, it's good to me, 40, 100, 200, 400, 1 megahertz, 2 megahertz, 4 megahertz, 10 megahertz. Okay, I'm going to call it good. So it passes that test with flying colors. All right, the next test is, is it outputting the voltage that you want? Um, it has three different ranges and it has a knob that you can turn to set the output voltage of the signal. Um, so remember, this is a vector voltmeter, so you want to output a known frequency and output a known voltage, and then it can do its math and stuff. Um, so it says to hook it up to an RF voltmeter because this is going to go up to 10 megahertz. So um, back in the day, that, that was the right way to do it. But these days, uh, oscilloscopes are very accurate. And so I'm just going to use an oscilloscope to measure the, uh, to measure the voltage here, RMS voltage. Then my Rigol will, will do that for us. And then we will follow all the instructions and go through all of the settings and see if it's outputting the... Uh, a right amount of juice. So uh, let's see here. It does not say to use a uh, RF load or anything, a 50 ohm loader. So we should just be able to uh, bring that coax that was going to my frequency counter. And we'll just bring it over here to the Rigel. And I always keep uh, channel 4 open because that's my BNC input. Uh, just It just makes it handy instead of having to disconnect other ones all the time. So let's kind of scoot this over so you can see it better. All right, so let's go to channel 4, turn off channel 1, and we will tell channel 4 to be smaller. There we go. And let's take a look at it. Okay, let's do triggering on channel four, of course. There we go. And we'll set up a measurement for vertical and we want volts RMS right there. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's see here. Each setting from 10 kilohertz to 10 megahertz, we want fully clockwise knob with a multiplier of one, and the test limits are greater than a one volt RMS. Okay, so full gain times one. Uh, let's go down to 10 kilohertz. We'll start there. And we have lost our there we have to zoom way back. Okay, so we are at one something volts. I don't know if you can read that, but it's uh, greater than one volt. So that passes. Let's go two. That passes. 40. That passes. 100 passes. 200 passes. 400 passes, 1 megahertz passes, 2 megahertz 
passes. Four megahertz. Uh, it's not making it at four megahertz. A little bit weak at four megahertz. All right, and at 10 megahertz. Also quite weak at 10 megahertz. Let's see. All right, so the top two are low. Let's do the, uh, uh, the book says, uh, you do these all, which we've just done. They're supposed to be greater than a volt. And we are low on the top two ranges. And then we're gonna do with a 0.1 multiplier and it should be 100 millivolts. And then the 0.01 multiplier, 10 millivolts, okay? Uh, so let's do all of those. All right. Uh, all right, we'll go back down to 10. We'll do the multiplier. Okay, how are we doing here? And you can see we're greater than 100 millivolts, so we're doing good. 20. Forty. Hundred. Two hundred. Four hundred. One megahertz. Two megahertz. Four megahertz is also low and 10 megahertz is also low. Okay, so it's just the top two ranges that are low. And now we'll do the other multiplier, which is 0 0.01. And let's increase this. And I've got a lot of noise on there. Uh, noise reject. Slope. I don't know why it's not triggering right. It's uh, just my scope problem. There's just too much fuzz on the noise on the uh, on the signal. But anyway, it's 10. All right. 20. 40. 100. No, not stirring. Really? Whatever. 200, 400, 1 meg, 2 megs, 4 megs is low, 10 megs is low. Okay, so it's all working except for the two ranges. All right, go on to the next test. All right, self-operating test. We need, a, we need some BNCs that go like that. Uh, connect cable length is zero. Connect terminals with BNCs like that. Test, a, test frequency to 100 kilohertz. Um, press the self-test and then the B button. Uh, function D button, okay. Self test. All right, so let's hook this thing up. Uh, let's see, 100 kilohertz. It said. All right, 100 kilohertz. And then we want to do. Self test D. All right. We should get zero in the A display. A and the B's both should be zero within 100 counts. All right. I think that looks all right. 
press the display B function Q button. All right. Self test item two is displayed. All right. Set the test signal at times one. Fully clockwise, test frequency 100 kilohertz. Display A should be minus 1000.00, plus and minus 100 counts. Oh, looks all right to me. Change the test frequency to one megahertz. Uh, display B. Readout should be within zero, plus or minus a thousand counts. All right. Press display EGR, this one. Self-test item three is displayed. That's this button, little number here. Self-test signal in accord with step seven. Multiplier times one, fully clockwise, 100 kilohertz. And repeat steps eight, nine, and 10. Eight should be minus a thousand. Then you go up to megahertz and it's still there. The B should be zero. All right. So that's all working good. Now we do the XB button. Test number four is displayed. Set the test signal as in seven times one. 100 kilohertz, except set the multiplier to point, point 0.1. Repeat 8, 9, and 10. Okay. We're getting our minus 1,000 and 0. We'll go up to a megahertz. Same thing. Okay. Everything is fine. Now we do the LC button. We're on number 5 now. Test with the other set. To, okay, so it's the same stuff. We do this, we do 100 kilohertz, uh, but we're at 0 0.01. Okay, we're at 1,000. And then we go to a megahertz and we're still, everything is still fine. All right, and then we just press the person. We press that one. Now we should have display seven. All right. Multiplier is automatically set to 0.1. Test, set test frequency to 100 kilohertz. Display should be zero, zero, plus or minus 1,000 counts. Looks fine to me. All right. All right. So, it's all checking out good so far.